Hi Virgo, welcome to your May 2020 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Virgo, let's get straight into your reading. There's a feeling around this and I don't feel it's you, it, it could be of course, but I'm, I'm picking it up more as someone around you. You're dealing with someone who can be a little bit of a tyrant, I do feel that this is someone that has a lot of force behind them and it's something that's new. I do feel that it's it could be a love partnership or it may be someone in the family but there, there is love around this and Virgo I feel that you have your concerns about this particular person so let's let's dive into the reading. We'll start with the the moon, the eight of cups in the reverse and the high priestess so what a combination. So around this, there's a lot of things that are unknown. There's aspects of this that are still very much in the dark. So things not being what they seem. And emotional, a lot of emotional highs and lows around this situation. Now Virgo, I feel the energy around you is one of dealing with something that has, has caused you some emotional upset and that has allowed the door open for this person to come in. Now they're acting as like a protector or they want to be a protector that kind of feeling but, but I'm actually getting that they're more of a hindrance than a help for you Virgo. So I'm getting the energy around you of one that is a quiet uh, receptive, dealing with some uh, emotional issues that have kept you feeling a little bit lost, a little bit uh, anxious and uh, I also want to say maybe a little bit vulnerable. I, I get that vulnerability around you here Virgo. Now we also have the four of pentacles in the reverse so there's a feeling around this of definitely wanting to keep a hold of what you have. Fearful of any kind of loss of stability because I feel it's been hard, hard fought. You've worked hard to maintain the stability that you have currently in your life and you don't want to lose it. Because I do feel it's, it's more the emotional quotient around you or the emotional uh, vulnerability here that's causing the problem but when it comes to the practical side of things I, I think that you you're doing okay there you seem to have some money saved and I get that there is some energy of stability around you but not emotional stability and there's a sense here of you may have either just come out of a, a relationship or you've gone through a situation in which you have felt lost or alone. Now we have the, the Eight of Wands in the reverse along with the Two of Cups and the Death card. So I feel something's happening rather quickly around you, a, a love connection. And it's leading to the end of something. So I, I do feel that you, you're either leaving someone to, to get into a relationship with this person or you've just left. And very quickly, very soon after Virgo, there's this other situation coming in, which you need to be cautious about because I feel like it's happening very quickly. So this person's wanting things to move very quickly, very fast action. We have the devil in reverse the Hermit in reverse and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So of course this is causing some some stress. Again I get a feeling here of uh, thinking a lot about is this the right thing to do because deep down I get you do have you do have concerns and that's what that's what's giving you the these anxious moments because you don't want to get caught up in something that is yet another trap or some kind of confining energy someone who's controlling I think you've been down that road before 
uh, Virgo, you might have just been getting out of something that was like that. So the thing is this, you have your concerns about repeating, repeating the past or repeating, I don't feel it's the same person, I feel it's repeating the same kind of relationship but with a different person. The thing is you, you're really looking at freedom, you're looking at independence, you don't want to be restricted again, managed, uh, talked down to. There's a feeling around you of needing to be careful, especially if you're in a vulnerable state. Perhaps you're, you're on your own for the first time in a while, you're feeling a little bit lonely, and somebody could take advantage of that. That's what I'm getting. Now, we have this person, I've got them as the Emperor in reverse and the Knight of Wands. So I do feel that this person can be quite forceful, maybe even a little bit of a bully. There's a controlling aspect around this person and, and someone who does things in a very direct manner. And uh, they move very quickly. I get a very strong Mars-like energy with this card. They could be Aries, of course, but they don't have to be. This person could have a lot of fiery energy around them, a lot of passion, certainly. But uh, they move quickly, but they're just as likely to uh, to move out quickly. You know, they move in quickly, but they're just as likely to move out quickly. So there's a concern around this person, how reliable they are. We also have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So Virgo, the thing is, you, you do want love. You, you do want something that's going to be fulfilling and you're willing because I have this card as you the knight of pentacles a Virgo card you're very willing to put in the hard work whatever it takes to make a relationship work so it's not like you're clouded by illusions or fantasy anymore you may have been in the past but I don't feel that you are now mainly because of what you've experienced in the past and you're not wanting to repeat that you know you're looking at things you're looking at love more practically and what's going to serve you in the long term rather than something that's just someone's just coming in for I don't know to take advantage of a situation I feel some kind of sadness uh, a loss uh, leaving a relationship or maybe someone's left you then and, and there's this feeling of being at sea and being alone and, and wanting some company and I feel that this person sees this vulnerability in you and comes racing in wanting to protect you but at the same time I get an energy that that, that this this person could that is not there for the long term this is just something that's very short term energy Virgo they're seeing it as a they're capitalizing on an opportunity with you and 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 that's not right now I've got the magician in reverse and the four of swords so the way that I'm feeling around this is you need to be objective and look at this person's motivations. What's behind this, this fast movement? What's behind this motivation? Because I do feel that it would be, it would behoove you to take some time and not rush into something quickly with this person. Though I, I think for a lot of you Virgos it's already happened. Here in May I feel that this person's already come in quickly and uh, and now you're you're really kind of dealing with the aftermath of this I've got the tower in reverse so it's like they've come in they've caused some kind of scene a disturbance because they are quite fiery they're, they're a very passionate person so if they don't get their way or if they if you don't uh, if you don't bend to their will they're likely to just kind of turn around and, and go back out the door so this is someone who who has caused some kind of drama in your life and now and now you're having to if you've already gotten involved with this person I feel that that now you're having to really take some time to to think about this person's motivation and some of them have caused an argument I get this person's caused some kind of argument which has been quite dramatic actually. Now why have they done this? 
Well, to be honest with you, <clears throat> what I'm seeing here is this person was not in it for the long term. I've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands. I feel that this individual was uh, there for a, a short time, saw it as an opportunity, and then when they wanted to leave, I think they've picked some kind of argument. I feel that this was may have been staged. That's not for all of you, but for some of you Virgos, I get that this Emperor in reverse staged this argument so that they could leave with that Knight of Wands energy. Because they may have had something else to go to. Virgo, if this is you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this because I, I feel like this person has taken taken liberties with uh, a Virgo here who has been down, has been feeling down, has either just gotten out of a relationship or you may have actually even, some of you may have left someone to be with this person. But they very quickly came, come in, got what they wanted, it was very fast action, and, and then they've staged some kind of argument, picked a fight because they didn't feel, well, I get that they, they wanted to move on. There was something else that they wanted to go towards. They had somewhere else to be. I get relocation or movement. But the thing that I'm getting around this here, Virgo, is it's actually a blessing in disguise because this person, this person was a bully. This person was someone who uh, was not what they appeared to be. And I feel that they had their eye on something else. Now, we've got the outcome here, the sun in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse. So the thing is, you didn't see, you didn't see this person for who they were. I get that they were hiding behind some veneer of power or authority. They may have come across as a protector, as someone who was reliable, who wanted to, uh, uh, wanted to get involved with you, who wanted to perhaps, uh, uh, set down roots potential for commitment in the future but it's become known here by you Virgo that that's not exactly how this has worked out so I get that unfortunately what you thought was going to be planting the seed for a stable future with this person you've discovered instead that this individual just uh, I get took advantage. They took advantage of you, Virgo, when you were feeling at a low point in your life, feeling lost. With that Eight of Cups in reverse and the High Priestess. And they saw you as very attractive. You had an air of uh, mystery around you as well, so maybe a bit of the unattainable. So they saw you as someone who they wanted to get involved with romantically or sexually here as well I've got the devil card but once that happened I feel it happened very quickly they've now turned around and, and decided to uh, as, as quickly as they came in I feel that they're quickly going out towards something else Virgo I've got you here as the Hermit in reverse, it's your card. See the thing is, you, you welcome this person into your life because I feel that you are alone or lonely and, and you, wanted to, you wanted a companion, you, want, you, wanted to, you wanted to feel emotionally connected to someone. You wanted to feel less alone. And I feel that this person in the past, uh, they may have had some infatuation. I get that they may have been infatuated with you at, at one point, Virgo, or maybe even a, a slight obsession. Possibly in the workplace, you, you may have met this person in the workplace. But I get that once the deed was done here, this person's this person's turned around and moved on, but it's really telling me that that's a blessing in disguise. 
because this individual is quite a difficult person. I, I get that you're going to have to spend some time recovering from from what unfortunately has turned out to be a, a negative event for you, uh, Virgo. Something that you thought was going to be love, a, a new opportunity at love, a turning point in your life, turned out to be a negative event. So if this hasn't happened yet, Virgo, just be mindful, be careful, hold on to your money, hold on to your to whatever you, you value in your life. Now, if that's your solitude and, and if that's your independence, I feel that you need to hold on to that. If it's more, if it's money, then hold on to that. But whatever gives you that strength within, something that you know, something that's tangible, something that you can hold in your hand and, and say, this gives me strength. Spirit is asking you to focus on that because this is very transitory energy that I'm feeling around this person and rather than make you feel make you feel protected which was what you thought was going to happen with this person because I think that they gave you that 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 feeling that they would protect you or that they would be be a protector for you especially if you've got children I get some of you Virgos might have a child You thought that this person was going to be like a father figure in your life, perhaps for a child, but it's it's turned out that they have been a, a negative influence. So try not to beat yourself up too badly about this. I, I get that you, you're feeling quite down on yourself. You, you're being quite self-critical. But Virgo, that that's, the thing is, you didn't know this person until you you saw the, the real them. They were hiding who they were at the beginning. And it wasn't what it seemed. It looked like it was going to be one way, that it was going to head down the road of something stable. But it's turned out not to be the case. Unfortunately, Virgo, and I get you making this discovery. Now, keep in mind, that the fact that you've discovered this quite early on is a good thing so this unexpected development of finding this out about this person and that they've got some other kind of thing there i feel like they've got some other some other interest that they're going towards but the thing that i'm getting around you virgo is you that you'll have other opportunities as well so try not to focus on this particular one. It wasn't what you thought it was going to be. But I get that something new will come into you. Something that will be um, a much more happier development. So discovering this early on maybe has caused a delay in that but i feel it's actually something that that you needed to see you needed to see this person you needed to see that that there are people out there like this because I, I get that this person just saw you as an opportunity and the fact that they're moving on here is actually a blessing a blessing in disguise virgo that's for sure and uh, it's leading you to uh, well to, to have that enlightenment to, to see to see things for what they are i think that you couldn't see it for a while but it, that you will see it I, I get an energy of you will see it you, you will you will be able to see the full the full person with this that's the feeling that i'm getting around this that you know the, sometimes we have to be around people who are so different from ourselves in order to better understand ourselves and what what we value so i do think that rather than seeing this as something that was uh, something that uh, you could have changed or or that you wish hadn't happened look at it instead as something that's gifting you with a new perspective an insight that can help you continue on this healing path that you're on Virgo 
You know, the universe wants you to experience enlightenment, not to be in the dark, repeating the same old patterns. So often people are kind of sent our way to encourage us to make that shift. Especially if you've made that promise to yourself in the past, Virgo, of not getting involved with the same type of person. So the thing is, although this was unexpected, I get if you look at this in a, in a different way, see it as potential for growth and potential for you to be on the right path because this wasn't your path. I feel that this would have been a repeat. It's repeating energy. So that's this energy of, of you. Uh, I, I think for you, Virgo, it's more about working on yourself, working on your independence, and not looking at a relationship or not looking for that protecting, protective energy. It's more about you standing on your own, looking after yourself, and, and for some of you, you, you also have children or a child there as well. Yeah, I get this, is, this was not the right thing for you, but what you need to look at is the future, focus on the future, focus on the potential for the future, because there'll be something much better coming in for you. And this, this next time, you'll see this type of person coming a mile away and you'll run in the opposite direction. I'm sure of that, Virgo. So let's see. I'm going to get a card from the Fairy Oracle. Message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you. We've asked for help. That's the thing. I, I think that you, this person was supposed to help you in some way, or, or they said they would help you. You may have even reached out to them for help. They may have been a shoulder to cry on. Because I get that this person gave the impression that they were going to be a protector for you, that they were going to, have, that they were going to be a strong character, someone that you could uh, put your trust in, put your faith in, that would be reliable and mature and responsible. But it turns out that they weren't at all that. I get instead this individual, although on the outside they look to be older and wiser, they're actually quite immature on the inside and a little bit of a, uh, I want to say a roustabout or a, uh, someone who fancies himself as a bit, of a, a bit of a player. So discovering this, realizing that uh, it's actually a blessing that this is going out of your life, will allow for something better to come into your life here. And, uh, and you'll see, you'll be able to sort through in the future uh, potential, potential love interests, and you'll be able to weed this type of person out. There are people who come on too strongly, who want something very quickly, and, and there are people who seem a bit too good to be true. I feel that you, you now recognize that this type of person is out there that they're just a little bit too much of something. They come across as too too strong, too too much. You know, someone who is really interested in you will take it slow. Will get to know you. Make the effort to get to know you. Friends first. That kind of feeling. This this is something where this person just saw an opportunity, came in, and then unfortunately, I get left towards something else. So I'm going to leave it there, Virgo, and wish you all the very best. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thanks very much to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Please do check me out on YouTube. My channel is Gypsy Insights by Michelle. Bye for now, Virgo. Have a happy May and take care.